Let's see if we can tempt the bristle nose out with a couple of pellets. Saddling the flow of the water and the greedy of the fish kind of seemed to stop him doing it. But if everything comes in front of his cave, he thinks there's some food. So let's see if that entices him out. Yeah, he's just lurking on the edge of his cave, sadly. And it looks like the golden barbs have had the biggest feed. As it looks like they've all got a mouthful of pellets. This is normally when it's interesting. If he goes in front of a cave, Mr. Bushnose thinks, my domain. Yeah, get a good shot of him there. Definitely a male. Go days and days without seeing him. And all of a sudden he'll come out like today. I think there's probably a pellet down there which no one's discovered, which he's thinking that's mine. So it looks like he's eating something. Let's see, I'll zoom in a little bit, see if you can see his bristles. There you go. Quite a Stocky little chap. Seems to stick out in the way mostly of the feather things. The other one doesn't seem to tolerate him. But this one and him seem to stay in the same end of the tank and they mostly get on. And this is a probably the longest I've ever seen him out of his cave, so there's definitely a pellet down there he can't quite reach. Yeah, it seems to be a bit of interest by the algae eater as well. Who, oddly enough, seems to get on with everyone. Oh yeah, he's got a pellet. Ah, there's another one there, hence the... Golden Barb was trying to have a look. It's quite a cool fish. Unlike the common plaque I've got with this one, I don't grow to silly size. Zoom out a little, I think. Oh, I scared him. Probably overfeeding him now if I put anything else in, but for the sake of this video, let's, let's see if I can tempt him out again. Here come the pellets. And true to form, the golden barbs pretty much clean up most things.